In the frozen darkness of deep space, 15 billion miles from Earth, something impossible just happened. Voyager 1, humanity's most distant messenger, has done something it was never designed to do. After 47 years of flying straight into the cosmic void, this tiny spacecraft has turned around. And what it detected in that moment has left NASA scientists speechless and the space community in absolute shock. We'll uncover exactly what Voyager 1 detected, why NASA has been so secretive about the findings, and what this means for humanity's future. It was 1977 when two identical spacecraft launched from Cape Canaveral, carrying humanity's hopes and dreams into the cosmos. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 were originally designed for a simple four-year mission to explore Jupiter and Saturn. Nobody, not even the brilliant engineers at NASA, could have predicted that these machines would still be operational nearly five decades later, sending data from the edge of known space. The story begins with a cosmic coincidence that occurs only once every 176 years. In the late 1970s, the four gas giants of our solar system aligned in a way that would allow a spacecraft to visit all of them using gravitational assists. This rare planetary alignment meant that a journey to Neptune, which would normally take 30 years, could be completed in just 12 years by riding the gravitational waves of each planet. Gary Flandreau, a young NASA engineer, discovered this opportunity in 1965 while plotting trajectories with nothing more than a pencil and paper. His calculations revealed that if they launched by 1977, they could take advantage of this once-in-a-lifetime cosmic dance. NASA seized the opportunity, and within 15 days of each other, Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 began their epic journey into the unknown. But what started as a mission to photograph distant planets became something far more significant. As the years passed, the Voyagers continued transmitting data long after their primary missions ended. They revealed active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon Io, discovered that Saturn's moon Titan had a thick atmosphere, and showed us that Uranus rotates on its side like a rolling ball. Then came the moment that changed everything. On February 14, 1990, Carl Sagan convinced NASA to turn Voyager 1's camera around for one final photograph. From 4 billion miles away, it captured Earth as a tiny blue dot suspended in a sunbeam. That image, now known as the pale blue dot, became one of the most humbling photographs in human history. It showed our entire world, every war, every love story, every triumph and tragedy contained within a single pixel of light. After that photograph, Voyager 1's cameras were shut down forever to conserve power. The spacecraft continued its journey into interstellar space, becoming humanity's first ambassador to the stars. For over 30 years, it flew blind through the cosmic darkness, relying only on its remaining instruments to study the mysterious realm beyond our solar system. But then, just three minutes ago, something unprecedented happened. Voyager 1's plasma wave detector, one of its few remaining functional instruments, began registering anomalies unlike anything seen before. The data patterns were so unusual that NASA engineers initially thought the spacecraft was malfunctioning. But after running diagnostics, they confirmed that Voyager 1 was operating normally. The signals it was detecting were real, and they were coming from a direction that should have been empty space. What made this discovery even more shocking was the nature of the signals themselves. They weren't random cosmic noise or interference from distant stars. These signals had structure patterns almost like a language. More disturbing still, they seemed to be responding to Voyager's own transmissions as if something was listening and answering back. The implications hit the NASA team like a thunderbolt. For 47 years, Voyager 1 had been broadcasting its presence to the universe through radio signals and the famous golden record attached to its hull. This record contained sounds and images from Earth, including music, greetings in 55 languages, and photographs of human life. It was intended as a message of peace for any intelligent civilization that might one day encounter the spacecraft, but what if that encounter had already happened? What if something had been following Voyager's journey all along, staying just out of detection range, studying this strange visitor from a distant world? The data suggests exactly that. Voyager's instruments detected what can only be described as an artificial structure moving through space in the same general direction as the spacecraft. This object, whatever it is, appears to be massive, possibly several miles in length, and it's maintaining a constant distance from Voyager, while emitting the mysterious signals. 
NASA's initial response was complete silence. For weeks, they refused to comment on the anomalous readings, claiming they needed more time to analyze the data. But leaked internal communications paint a picture of an organization in crisis. Senior scientists were reportedly arguing about how to handle the discovery, with some pushing for immediate public disclosure, while others insisted on maintaining secrecy until they could understand what they were dealing with. The leaked documents reveal something even more disturbing. This wasn't the first time Voyager 1 had detected these signals. According to internal memos, similar anomalies had been recorded sporadically over the past five years, but they were dismissed as equipment malfunctions or interference from solar activity. Only now, with the signals becoming stronger and more frequent, has NASA been forced to acknowledge that something is actually out there. But the story gets even stranger. Three days after the initial detection, Voyager 1 did something that should be impossible with its current programming. Without any commands from Earth, the spacecraft began reorienting its instruments. Remember, it takes over 22 hours for a signal to travel from Earth to Voyager 1, and another 22 hours for a response to come back. Yet somehow, the spacecraft began changing its orientation in real time, as if it was responding to something in its immediate vicinity. The most chilling part of this development is what happened next. Voyager 1's magnetometer, which measures magnetic fields in space, detected a massive electromagnetic anomaly approaching from behind. This wasn't cosmic radiation or solar wind. The reading suggested an artificial magnetic field, something that could only be generated by advanced technology. Dr. Elena Rodriguez, a plasma physicist who has worked on the Voyager project for over 20 years, described the moment when the data came through. I've seen every type of cosmic phenomenon you can imagine, she said in a leaked audio recording. Solar storms, magnetic reconnection events, plasma instabilities. This was nothing like any of those. The field strength was off the charts, but it was perfectly controlled, perfectly stable. Nature doesn't create magnetic fields like this. What makes Dr. Rodriguez's testimony even more credible is her reputation within NASA. She's one of the world's leading experts on interstellar plasma, and she's never been one to entertain wild theories about extraterrestrial life. For someone of her scientific standing to suggest that Voyager 1 has encountered artificial technology is unprecedented. The electromagnetic readings revealed something else that has NASA extremely concerned. The approaching object appears to be scanning Voyager 1 with some kind of energy beam. The spacecraft's instruments detected focused electromagnetic radiation sweeping across its hull in a systematic pattern, as if something was conducting a detailed examination of human technology. This scanning process lasted for exactly 47 minutes, which researchers note as a suspiciously specific duration. Some have speculated that this time frame might be significant to whoever or whatever is conducting the scan. Others worry that 47 minutes was enough time to download every piece of data stored in Voyager's memory banks, including detailed information about Earth's location and humanity's level of technological development. But perhaps the most terrifying aspect of this encounter is what happened to Voyager's golden record. This iconic artifact, attached to the spacecraft's hull, contains humanity's greatest hits, music from Bach to Chuck Berry, greetings in dozens of languages, and images showing the diversity of life on Earth. The record also includes a star map showing Earth's location relative to 14 pulsars, effectively giving any finder precise directions to our home planet. During the scanning event, Voyager's instruments detected intense electromagnetic activity focused specifically on the Golden Record's location. Whatever was examining the spacecraft spent considerable time analyzing this message from humanity. The implications are staggering. If an advanced civilization has indeed intercepted and decoded the Golden Record, they now possess detailed information about our planet, our species, and our exact location in the galaxy. The aftermath of this encounter has been equally disturbing. In the hours following the scanning event, Voyager 1 began receiving what can only be described as a response. The spacecraft's radio receivers picked up a complex signal transmission that appeared to originate from the same mysterious object. This wasn't random noise or natural cosmic phenomena. The signal had clear mathematical structure, containing prime numbers, Fibonacci sequences, and other mathematical concepts that could only be generated by intelligent beings. Even more unsettling, portions of the signal appeared to be modified versions of the content from Voyager's golden record. 
fragments of human music were detected, but altered in ways that suggested they had been analyzed and reinterpreted by a non-human intelligence. Bach's Brandenburg Concerto No. 2 was recognizable, but it had been mathematically transformed, as if someone was showing us our own creation through entirely different cognitive processes. NASA's cryptography division was brought in to analyze the signal, and their findings have reportedly left government officials deeply disturbed. According to leaked reports, the signal contains what appears to be a star map, similar to the one included on Voyager's golden record, but far more detailed and accurate. This map shows not just our local stellar neighborhood, but thousands of star systems across a vast region of the galaxy. Most alarmingly, many of these star systems are marked with symbols that suggest they have been visited or cataloged by the same intelligence that intercepted Voyager. If these markings are accurate, it would mean that humanity has just made contact with a civilization that has been systematically exploring our galaxy for possibly thousands of years. The signal also contained what cryptographers describe as a countdown sequence. Mathematical progressions that appear to be measuring time, counting down to a specific moment approximately 18 months from now. The purpose of this countdown is unknown, but the precision of the mathematics suggests it's marking the arrival of something significant. Dr. Sarah Chen, NASA's former Director of Interstellar Communications, broke her silence last week in what she called the most important announcement in human history. In a leaked video recording, Dr. Chen revealed that the countdown sequence isn't random. It corresponds exactly to the time it would take for a spacecraft traveling at approximately 15% the speed of light to reach our solar system from Voyager 1's current position. We're not just talking about first contact anymore, Dr. Chen said in the recording. We're talking about visitation. Something is coming here, and it's using Voyager 1 as a beacon to guide its way home to Earth. The implications of this revelation have sent shockwaves through the highest levels of government. Secret meetings have been convened involving NASA leadership, military officials, and intelligence agencies. The discussion isn't about whether humanity should prepare for contact, but about whether we're already too late to prepare for what's coming. But the story becomes even more complex when we examine what happened next. Following the initial signal exchange, Voyager 1's instruments detected that the mysterious object had begun changing course. Instead of continuing its parallel trajectory, the object started moving in a direction that would intercept Earth's solar system. More disturbing still, it appeared to be accelerating, using propulsion technology that defies our current understanding of physics. Voyager's plasma detectors registered massive energy discharges from the object's rear section, creating thrust levels that would require the total energy output of a small star. Yet somehow this acceleration was achieved without any detectable radiation signature. Whatever propulsion system this civilization possesses, it operates on principles completely unknown to human science. The object's new trajectory has been calculated and recalculated by NASA's best orbital mechanics specialists. Every simulation reaches the same terrifying conclusion. If the object maintains its current acceleration profile, it will reach the outer edge of our solar system in exactly 547 days. That gives humanity less than 18 months to prepare for an encounter with a technology so advanced that it makes our greatest achievements look like stone tools. Government agencies have reportedly begun implementing what they call Protocol 7, a classified response plan for extraterrestrial contact that was developed during the Cold War but never expected to be used. The protocol involves coordination between space agencies, military forces, and civilian authorities to manage humanity's first interaction with an alien civilization. However, leaked portions of Protocol 7 reveal that it was designed under the assumption that contact would begin with radio signals or distant observation. No one anticipated a scenario where an advanced spacecraft would be approaching Earth with clear knowledge of our location and capabilities. The protocol's recommendations are inadequate for the current situation, leaving world leaders scrambling to develop new strategies. Meanwhile, Voyager 1 continues its role as an unwitting intermediary between humanity and whatever intelligence has intercepted it. The spacecraft is still receiving periodic transmissions from the approaching object, and these signals are becoming increasingly complex. Recent intercepted communications appear to contain detailed specifications for some kind of technology, or possibly instructions for building a communication device or transportation system. Some researchers believe these transmitted specifications are a test. 
If humanity can successfully build whatever device is being described, it would demonstrate our technological readiness for direct contact. Others worry that constructing unknown alien technology could be extremely dangerous, potentially giving this civilization a way to influence or control human activities from inside our own solar system. The most disturbing recent development came just 72 hours ago, when Voyager 1 detected multiple additional objects joining the original craft. These new arrivals appear to be smaller escort vessels, each one roughly the size of a football stadium, arranging themselves in what military analysts describe as a classic fleet formation. The implications are clear. This isn't just one explorer's ship making peaceful contact. This is a deliberate, organized approach by what appears to be a significant military or exploratory force. Radar installations around the world have been quietly retasked to scan the outer solar system for any approaching objects, but so far, nothing has been detected. This suggests that whatever technology these beings possess, it's capable of complete stealth, remaining invisible to even our most sensitive detection equipment. The only reason we know they're coming is because Voyager 1 happened to stumble into their path and inadvertently became our early warning system. Religious leaders worldwide have begun preparing their congregations for what many are calling the most significant event in human history. The Vatican has quietly assembled a team of theologians to address the spiritual implications of contact with non-human intelligence. Islamic scholars are revisiting ancient texts for references to life beyond Earth. Buddhist monks speak of this moment as a test of humanity's wisdom and compassion. Scientists, meanwhile, are divided between excitement and terror. The opportunity to learn from a civilization capable of interstellar travel could advance human knowledge by thousands of years overnight. We could gain access to technologies that would solve climate change, cure diseases, and enable our own expansion into the galaxy. But this same advanced capability makes them potentially existential threat to human civilization. The question that haunts every discussion is simple, what do they want? Why reveal themselves now, after possibly observing us for decades or centuries? Why begin approaching Earth at the exact moment when Voyager 1 reaches the edge of interstellar space? The timing seems too precise to be coincidental. Some theorists suggest that Voyager 1's journey into interstellar space represents a threshold moment for human civilization. By sending our technology beyond the solar system, We've demonstrated our capability for interstellar exploration, possibly triggering some kind of galactic protocol for making contact with emerging civilizations. Others propose a darker possibility. Perhaps this civilization has been waiting for us to develop sufficient technology to be useful to them. Our advancement in computing, telecommunications, and space travel might have finally reached a level where humanity represents a valuable resource, whether as a workforce, it was a source of biological material, or simply as an interesting subject for study. The countdown continues ticking toward zero, and with each passing day, the approaching fleet grows closer to our solar system. Governments are quietly implementing emergency protocols, scientists are working frantically to decode the alien transmissions, and ordinary people remain completely unaware that humanity stands on the brink of the most significant moment in our species' existence. Voyager 1, the little spacecraft that could, launched in 1977 with a simple mission to photograph planets, has become the herald of humanity's entry into a galaxy far more crowded and complex than we ever imagined. In turning its instruments back toward home, it has given us the greatest gift possible, time to prepare for what's coming. But time is running out. In 547 days, everything changes. The question isn't whether we're ready for contact. The question is whether we'll survive it, what do you think about this terrifying discovery? Are we witnessing humanity's greatest opportunity or our final countdown? Share your thoughts in the comments below and make sure to subscribe for updates as this incredible story continues to unfold. Because one thing is certain, the universe just became a much more dangerous and exciting place and Voyager 1 has given us front row seats to the most important show in human history. The stars are no longer silent and they're heading our way. Thanks for being with us. Leave a comment, like to show your support, and remember to hit that subscribe button for more exciting videos. See you next time.